Yes, I'm balancing these golf clubs so they don't fall. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna uh, do it's this. It's not gonna work. All right, wait. Well, yeah, it's not gonna work. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Uh, it's not gonna work. Okay, watch this. Hold these. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's your best friend. How dare okay, you? Okay, now you can get the club. Yeah, yeah. Here, hold on. Okay, come on over, Jim. We're at the West Bank Golf Club. Having a great time. A great place to uh, catch the Super Bowl and get some swings in at the same time. And as you can see, you have a good time with your friends. And that's what you guys were thinking um, because all you guys live downtown. You're like, you know what? There's no place for us to really hang out and have a good time, right? Yeah, there's not many places to go besides just a bar. So we wanted to have something with a little more activity, something to do. and centered around golf. Yeah, and it's what's funny is these guys are playing uh, the Waste Management TPC Scottsdale right now, which is ironic, which is very, very cool. They can play it and watch it at the same time if they yeah. wanted to. Starting today, I think 10 a.m., they start teeing off, so. Yeah, uh, and you'll have people in here playing, oh, you sure. know, at 10. So uh, the whole concept behind the place, I mean, you guys actually have league play, too, because you wanted to make it very social for everybody to come out and enjoy not only golf, but enjoy being with each other, correct? Yeah, we have three leagues that were all sold out, Monday nights, Wednesday nights, and Saturday mornings. We'll mm -hmm. have another session starting in March. Okay. And uh, we'll get it going from there. Um, you were mentioning <laughs> some professional athletes rented the whole place out when they were coming in the Kansas City Royals when they had a six game series. But you guys have that available for bachelor parties or corporate functions. Uh, they can rent the entire place if they cho choose to? Yeah, I think since our opening about eight, nine months ago, we've had close to 100 events here. So really? Birthday parties, bachelor parties, diaper parties, and then <laughs> wow. the Cleveland business community has been great to us. We've Isn't had lots great? of private events. That's really cool. Now, in terms of booking a tea time, on your website, about you can you open it up about a week out, which is important because they kind of go pretty quick, don't they? Yeah, so we have, uh, we have members that get a two-week booking window. The mm -hmm. general public gets a one-week booking window. Okay. And then uh, the parties and private events and things, they can call in and we can book those ahead of time. And we're here, you know, with the, with the guys playing pool behind us. So even if you have a tea time, you can come up and play some pool when you wait to play or play pool or hang out after you play golf. Yeah, before, it, before you play, after you play, or you don't even have to play golf. You can come in and enjoy the rest of the space. Which is what it's all about. How many, how many uh, TVs do you guys have in here? Uh, we have eight flat screen TVs okay. in here. Uh, we can get up to three games going at one time. Okay. So, yeah, on NFL Sundays and uh, oh my goodness. NBA playoffs, it gets uh, pretty heated which in Which is cool, which is cool, <laughs> right? That's so awesome because you guys say, yeah, whenever it's a professional uh, game in Cleveland, boom. You guys are swamped. Well, congratulations, Jim. I mean, that's awesome. And what you guys have done, a couple of young guys investing in Cleveland, investing in the downtown area, man. Well yeah, done. We well appreciate done. you coming up. All right. So if you're thinking about this, give them a call or get on the line. Uh, get on online right now uh, to learn how to, to to learn how to book your times. If you remember, you get two weeks ahead of time, but if you're not, you get one week ahead of time. And tea times do go fast. Well, how about that, Sissy Wayne and Christy? A couple of young guys really making things happen right here in the heart of downtown Cleveland. How about that? All right, sounds good, Mr. Crumpton. Thank you very, very much.